the usual suspects were there. Familiar faces to the millions of people lining the streets of New York City and watching at home on TV. In a Turkey Day tradition, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Macy's is proud to present a special balloon created specifically for today by the internationally acclaimed artist known in the art community as Cause. Among them was a balloon that many people might not know. His name is Companion, a gray and white creature who's a little too shy to show his face. But those who have seen his face are obsessed with the character and the man who created him. This is like a once-in-a-lifetime sort of opportunity. Cogs, K-A-W-S, a painter and designer we first met four years ago, who is now one of art's biggest draws. It wasn't all that long ago that the 38-year-old Cos was just another mischievous kid. He found his artistic voice through the illegal painting of graffiti. I just started simply through graffiti and, you know, drawing on my skateboard, painting on walls and getting that small recognition. To his family, he's known as Brian Donnelly. He grew up in the shadow of Manhattan across the river in Jersey City, where his faded tags can still be seen on the sides of buildings. Donnelly used the name Cause to stay anonymous. He didn't make his real name public for many years. Your name comes from what? It's just a, a combination of letters that, that I liked. And you know, when your whole art's based on the lettering that you choose, you kind of figure out what ones work together. Like, I just like the shapes of K-A and W-S. It has no meaning. Cause became a street legend in the 90s by drawing over bus stop ads, establishing his signature mark, placing X's over characters' eyes. He then started designing products and vinyl figures. My first character was called Companion. Mm -hmm. And painting cartoon characters from his childhood. There is kind of a nostalgic feeling yeah. I get when I see it. It's like, oh, those guys. Like, Especially oh. for the Smurfs. I mean, for me, that's one of the things like, you know, if I went to the dentist, I was allowed to buy a Smurf afterwards. Those paintings soon turned him into an art scene sensation. I think that's like really, really cool. I really uh, appreciate it. No that. problem. Lines wrapped around the block to buy his figures. His work graced album covers and was snapped up by the rich and famous, like hip-hop star Pharrell Williams, who commissioned dozens of pieces for his Miami home. To our generation, we're going to look at him like, you know, he's the guy that made us pay attention to art. Today, Cause is busier than ever. A current show of new paintings has Parisians buzzing. I've been a little bit more focused on working within sort of a gallery museum environment. And his fan base has grown larger, as his work has done the same. A 16-foot version of Companion traveled the world and now sits outside the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. It caught the eye of the folks at Macy's. He was on the top of your list for he this was. year. The, the list was short. There was one name on it, and it was his. <laughs> Amy Kuehl is the executive producer of events for Macy's. She asked Cause to design a balloon and all of the art for this year's parade. There's like some projects you have to think about and immediately I was like, yes. Right. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, of course, there's, there's a no-brainer. Cause spent the past year in his Brooklyn studio, putting his touch on the Thanksgiving tradition he loved as a kid. When we first started discussing to do a balloon immediately, I knew that's what I would want to do. You did? Yeah. The 41-foot high balloon of Companion was hand-stitched in South Dakota over the summer. In August, at a secret location near the factory, we joined Cause. <laughs> that's hysterical. As he saw the character he dreamed up 15 years ago come to life for the first time. Oh my god, hello. Hi, nice to meet you. So what do you think of it? Oh, I think it's great. Macy's employees tested the helium-filled polyurethane balloon as Cause closely inspected every inch. 
Back in Manhattan, his artwork was unveiled along the parade route. Even a subway car was wrapped in this former graffiti artist's designs. Oh, there's a great irony. So. Right. This past Wednesday, families came to watch as the balloon, unfamiliar to most, has no idea what it is, found his spot in line. Have you heard any of the reactions so far? Yeah, I don't think kids know what the heck's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that guy? Yeah, some, some kid thought it was George Washington yesterday. <laughs> he did? He thought it was George Washington? That's funny, with the hair? I don't know. On the big day, with Papa Smurf leading the way, Companion bobbed through the streets of New York, while Kaz snapped photos like a proud father at his little guy, all grown up. It's definitely awesome. It's going to be a hard one to top for a little while. It certainly will.